Just big catch after big catch. He's competing in the run game. He does so many things. We would have no chance of being here without Cooper Cup. Well, we are now just a week and a half away from the Super Bowl, and it is one of the most anticipated games in our region in quite some time, and it's all because of one player. Easy to root for, that player. Brenna Green, obviously, here joining us now, and she sat down with Cooper's parents. Yeah, if you've been paying attention to sports at all over the past week, you know the Rams are heading to the mm -hmm. Super Bowl, and Eastern Washington alum Cooper Cup is about to take his talents to the highest stage in football. I talked with his parents over Zoom yesterday as Cup's star continues to rise. What was Sunday's game like for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> a little more nerve wracking than we had hoped for. Yeah. Would you say? Yeah. yeah. I didn't yeah. eat anything until yeah. <laughs> uh, after the game. Maybe Craig Cup should employ that strategy for the Super Bowl because it worked out pretty well this past Sunday. Cooper Cup had both of the Rams' touchdowns in their win over San Francisco, as well as two key catches on the game-winning field goal drive. It's been quite a postseason for the Cups, as Cooper also had two key catches on the Rams' game-winning field goal drive the previous week against Tampa, including a 44-yard haul that set up the kick. A few of those chill moments where you just are like, I think it was the first time I'd ever actually like broke down in tears was that catch in Tampa because it was just like, this is this is what he works for. Cup has become one of, if not the most reliable receiver in the NFL this year as he accomplished the elusive triple crown. That means he led the league in receiving touchdowns, yards and catches. Cup is only the fourth receiver in NFL history to achieve this honor. And the last receiver to do so was Steve Smith in 2005. He's just like so ready for it and you might see him so rarely drop a ball and I can just I'm always like throw it to him the next play there's no way he will drop another you know it's just a sure thing what isn't such a sure thing is what will happen two Sundays from now whatever happens though Cooper refuses to be defined by it, it it's kind of weird because it, in one way it's a dream come true and something you dream about as a little kid in the backyard but I I, I think this week Cooper's talked a lot about his enjoyment is in the process and uh, uh, the weekly process of, of, of getting better and the, the study of it and the preparation. No matter what, it's been a season filled with joy for the Cups. So much joy, in fact, that after Cooper's 44-yard catch against Tampa Bay, Craig told the Los Angeles Times that he has four kids, and that catch was a top-five moment in his life. As for things stand after last week's game, here's what Craig had to say. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to start looking at the numbering system here, so I... Uh... <laughs>